Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here with another bit of Total War, Warhammer 2, Quick Match gameplay. Uh, the Mortal Empires patch has been released, and so Quick Match is now a plethora of just about every faction except Norska and Wintertooth. Um, so in this game, I am running as the Skaven against the Dawi, a, uh, led by Gurk Monstret. Um, on the map, Golden Colossus. Definitely, I think, a bit of a classic matchup, one of those uh, underground factions going head-to-head. -head. So uh, without further ado, let's see how things break down. Right off the bat, of course, you can see that uh, the strategy I'm running is one that I actually ran before um, against uh, Lizardmen, and I've run the strategy against High Elves as well. It's a, it's a very sort of monster and uh, machine-heavy build uh, with only Skaven Slaves as your cannon fodder front line. So what I did here is I did bring for my lord a Grace Tier of Ruin mounted on a um, Screaming Bell. Um, this does give him actually access to one spell. Um, now, unfortunately, I actually made a big mistake here and did uh, take Muscafir, which is a bit of a waste because I can't cast. But um, he does have Unholy Clamor, of course, um, uh, Scorch, which is a uh, breath spell um, that you get for free when you put him on the Screaming Bell. The Screaming Bell, of course, does have a bonus against infantry, armor piercing, and it can kind of barge through Dwarven infantry pretty effectively, which is the main reason I brought it. Um, alongside him, I did bring a Plague Priest with a, with a um, Plague Furnace, of course. Um, and against the Dawi, it's very important to remember that against the Dawi, these sort of big war machines are definitely going to be a challenge for them to shut down because they have a lot of mass they can just push around. With Billowing Death in there, uh, he's causing constant AoE damage. I'm actually not even sure if Billowing Death is a magical or normal uh, attack, but um, it'll be definitely be doing damage and slowly whittling, whittling down the dwarves. I also did bring, and possibly most significant, this is probably the, one of the more significant things, I did bring Bless with Filth, which applies poison to unit or units in the AoE uh, when cast. And of course, you do get Pestilent Breath as just as an ability along with... Uh, when you run a Plague Priest on a Plague Furnace. Now, alongside that, I do have five units of Rat Ogres. These guys are simply there to barge into the enemy line and try to do as much damage as possible. And these guys are backed up by three Doom Wheels, which are <coughs> there to go into deep enemy backline, you terror bomb units that are susceptible to that sort of stuff, and kind of spam their little AoE little Warp Lightning uh, shots just to cause as much damage as they can. A front line of Skaven Slaves should absorb as much damage as possible and uh, just kind of soak shots for the rest of my army. My opponent went very wide as far as dwarves go, uh, perhaps um, expecting miners to do very well against Skaven, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but for his lord, he definitely did go with Grumbrindle, who is definitely a, t a tough customer, um, and uh, can definitely do quite a bit of hurt. Plus he does of course have Flash Bomb, which makes it uh, greatly reduce the speed in the, of my uh, monsters, heroes, and make him very susceptible. Um, and of course he does have the Runax of Grumbrindle, which also applies a debuff and extra, gives him extra damage on top of his already ludicrous damage stats. Alongside him is a Runesmith coming in with, um, this is actually I do believe a new item, he gets the Hammer of Kara Karakadraz, which um, reduces enemy melee attack and um, weapon, uh, weapon damage. And then he does have the Rune of Negation of course, as well as the Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Uh, finally, uh, the Thane, just to stiffen up uh, the front just a little bit more. Now, interesting enough, heroes. There have been some changes to heroes in this blast patch, and the tremendous you, uh, items like the tremendous sword have become much more common. As have items like the master rune of Stormy Redbeard, which is now available in, for example, a thane. And uh, similar changes to this with potions and abilities and items have been made to basically every hero, as far as I can tell. Now, for his front line, my opponent brought a lot of miners, and in fact, his entire front line is composed of miners and miners with blasting charges. And I think this is a bit of an interesting pick. The blasting charges could definitely be nasty against Skaven, but the armor piercing is a bit wasted, given that the vast majority of Skaven units, especially the ones that should do well against dwarves with armor piercing, are very lightly armored. So the miners' armor piercing is definitely a bit wasted, and their low melee stats could make them very susceptible to return damage. Beyond that, my opponent has spread out a bunch of rangers, and uh, these guys could definitely do quite a bit of hurt to lightly armored and pretty squishy um, inf infantry that's given due tend to run. You can see the goblobbers already firing away. Um, and uh, here in the center, my opponent does have um, a unit of uh, Dragon Black Slayers here in the back, ready to flex around and support his artillery pieces, which he has two. He has the Goblobber, which could definitely be a bit of a problem. It can demoralize Skaven pretty badly, and of course Skaven had more morale issues to begin with. And then a single organ Gun. And this, um, the organ Gun actually has also been buffed in this last patch. Um, it's gotten an extra 10 range. I don't believe it's... I do believe it actually has not gotten an increase to its damage. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't believe it has. Um, both the organ Gun and the Hellblaster got this sort of range buff, uh, though the Hellblaster was much more significant at 70 uh, increase, whereas this was only 10. Now throwing it into full gear, you can see... <coughs> now I should see that there's a lot of blasting charges. I don't see a lot of this stuff in the woods. I do see the organ Gun, but that's about it. And of course the range are all hidden. Now the Goblobber is firing away, destroying these Skaven Slaves, but that's okay, these guys are completely expendable. Um, 
and 30 Skaven Slaves lost is nothing. Uh, that's very much of price I'm willing to pay. So I'm trying to push the Rad Ogres forward, and the reason for that is because they can. I want them to absorb the Blasting Charges. It's not going to be ideal for them. These guys have very little armor, and they're uh, definitely squishy as far as monsters go. Uh, but it's going to be much better if these guys tank it than if the Skaven Slaves tank it, since I could see my entire front line kind of fall apart. Uh, you can see the Rad Ogres are already jumping in here, jumping all over these miners. Uh, the Doom Wheels plowing straight through. Some of these guys are pushing straight through to the Goblobber. You can see the Slayers are coming out. These guys will absolutely shred through the Rad Ogres. But already you can see the Goblobber is going to be shut down and it's going to be in deep troll. These Blasting Charges are possibly going to do more damage to the Dragonback Slayers than anything else. Um, though, these guys do have some built-in fires. It's 22%. Now you can see the Skaven Slaves are pushing in, just trying to bog down my opponent. Uh, in the meantime, my Rad Ogres are just pushing into the back line, going after these Miners, just trying to disrupt my opponent as much as possible. These Blasting Charges are getting shut down a lot by the trees, as are, is the Ranger Fire, and that is definitely a bit of a problem for my opponent here. Uh, now you can see these Rad Ogres have already started kind of routing off, and you can see my um, the good old uh, Doom Wheels are just running amok. Uh, I have popped Unholy Climber, and I'm popping my uh, debuffs with Blessed with Filth here. Uh, of course, overcasting, because this is the only spell I brought to this fight. And that will allow me to debuff these Dragon Max Slayers, make them much more susceptible to damage. You know, this Plague Priest is kind of rampaging around, the Doom Wheels are still rampaging around. My opponent is having a very tough time trying to shut them down. Um, <coughs> and of course these guys are constantly spamming off their little Warp Lightning attacks, and that will definitely be doing some damage to the Dragon Max Slayers. Um, now I do plow into the back of these Miners, I'm just trying to disrupt them, debuff, and that sort of stuff. Um, definitely I made some mistakes, I think, if with the comp I could have definitely brought a, the ability to summon Clan Rats. That could have definitely been a bit useful here, especially for shutting down this, this Dragon Max Slayers. However, uh, that is what it is. Now I'm simply rampaging around with the Doom Wheel, trying to avoid getting caught back from Brindle and these angry Dragon Max Slayers, because that could go very, very badly for me. In the meantime, these Rad Ogres are actually doing quite a bit of work. You can see they're just kind of rampaging around, doing whatever the heck they feel like. Uh, but unfortunately, the Rangers are coming back, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage these Doom Wheels, knowing that these Rangers here are just failing to do, make a dent through these woods, and I'm going to stick them on these Rangers back here, as well as the Goblobber, and just try to push them away. This thing over here is surrounded. <laughs> and uh, tanking very effectively, of course, with his high melee defense, 120 armor, and the fact that Skaven Slaves, for example, have basically no armor piercing means he's going to be a one tough cookie. Uh, especially with the fact that he's been getting knocked on his butt quite a bit. However, in the meantime, this uh, Rune Priest is or Rune Smith is definitely getting mauled quite a bit. You can see these uh, miners with blasting charges are getting uh, their HP dropped by the uh, effect from the uh, plague furnace. So definitely, that's a bit of a useful thing here. And I, uh, if I can get it closer, I could start uh, draining away at the Dragon Slayers, and that would be ideal. And you can see the Dragon Max Slayers are actually taking quite a bit of damage from the uh, Skaven Slaves, which is kind of an unfortunate occurrence. Of course, they will tear through the Skaven Slaves in a one-to-one, -one, but it, it doesn't mean they're bleeding models and HP and all that sort of stuff. In the meantime, these miners are charging in against these Rad Ogres. You can see the Rad Ogres over here are just sitting AFK. I'm definitely with the tree cover. Um, I'm not uh, quite on top of my as much as I should be. And shortly, these uh, Dragon Max Slayers are going to start getting affected and debuffed by the uh, billowing death from the uh, AoE. And uh, th that will definitely start draining them away, making them fall apart. This thing over here is still tanking like a champ, uh, though, of course, he's not doing very much damage in turn. Uh, this Runesmith is also in here doing quite a bit of work. You can see these Rad Ogres plowed through the Grudge Throw and are now just trying to push it away. And these guys are all shattered, and uh, the Doom Mills are just kind of rampaging around. See these. Um, Dragon Max Slayers are still around kicking, but uh, with the uh, constant drain on their HP from the Plague Priest, you guys are not going to be long for this world. And surely they're just going to die to uh, that constant poison. Um, in the meantime, you can see the Thane is still tanking away, but um, he's getting surrounded and bogged down. Definitely I made a mistake here. I should have definitely committed more of these Skaven Slaves over to this right flank to try to finish off these Dragon Max Slayers and finish off all of those guys. Um, and uh, this last Dragon Max is about to go down. You can see the uh, Doom Wheels are surrounding and mobbing the Runesmith. Um, now these guys do have a decent amount of armor. This is one of the few Skaven units alongside uh, Skaven Slaves, who have, or not Skaven Slaves, uh, Stormvermen who have decent amounts of armor. You can see there the Warp Lightning is actually doing pretty crazy amounts of damage to the clumped up Dwarf units. Um, and the Doom Wheels are just kind of having a really easy time with this. My opponent doesn't have anything to shut him down, of course that's a huge problem for Dwarves. And uh, the Doom Wheels are just running about and doing whatever the heck they feel like. Rumbrindle over here is trying to shut down my Plague Priest and my um, Grace here of Ruin, but he's definitely not having the best time of it, and he's actually having his HP drained as well. Um, and of course, the uh, Doom Wheels do cause terror, and of course, miners and all these are. Actually, most of my opponent's units here don't have immunity to psychology. I think only Grum Brindle might. Actually, it looks like even Grum Brindle does not have an immunity to psychology. So, um, there's definitely a bit of a problem for my opponent, whose units can, of course, get terror outed. Or in the meantime, these Rad Ogres have kind of mopped up. You can see uh, the Thane over here is finally routing. Uh, Grum Brindle still <coughs> sticking it out like a champ, trying to slug it out, but now, um, with the rest of his army just falling apart, he's uh, routing off, and that is going to be game. Um, so close victory, and definitely a lot of fun. This is definitely a very solid Skaven build, uh, definitely pretty brutal. 
Uh, you can see most of the damage, of course. You can actually see the Skaven Slaves did some okay work. They some racked up a decent amount of kills, and uh, given that they cost a third of what uh, miners with Blasting Charge, or actually a third of what normal miners cost, it's definitely not the worst of performances. Um, these guys aren't, well, of course, you're not bringing them to kill something like Dragonback Slayers or Miners or whatever. These guys can still do a decent amount of damage if, kind of, for their cost. Um, they're definitely, I think, much better, a much better performing unit uh, out of the dirt cheap bottom tier infantry. I think they're the best as far as damage goes uh, when compared to Peasants and Zombies, which I think are the only units that really fit into the same category as Skaven Slaves. Um... The Rat Ogres, of course, did some very, pretty good damage. At least some did. Some got focused pretty hard. And, of course, these guys have very low armor and they're very subtle to ranged fire. The Doom Wheels did some amazing work. And the Racer of Ruin and, of course, the Plague Priest did really well. And it's important to keep in mind that the Plague Priest, that AoE Billowing Death, was doing some great work. For my opponent, uh, definitely some units performed pretty well. Um, the Dragonback Slayers got crazy kill counts, so it gets important to keep in mind that these are Skaven Slaves we're talking about. Um, the Organ Gun got some decent work done. So the Cob Lobber, despite only getting a few volleys off, did really well. But once again, most of these kills were on the uh, Skaven Slaves, and uh, those are simply an irrelevant unit. The Miners, I think, are definitely a bit of an iffy choice against Skaven. Against Skaven, because they their armor-piercing choices are very lightly armored, <coughs> and... Um, and then I think the Miners, and uh, often have decent melee stats, I think the Miners are a bit of an iffy pick there. But uh, otherwise, definitely a pretty cool build, I think, for my opponent. Definitely very cheap and wide, which might not be the worst idea if, if you're trying to shut down Skaven mobs. Um, yeah, good game to my opponent. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, if you have any comments, criticism, anything like that, be sure to post those down in the comments. And, um, yeah, as usual, guys, I do appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Wyvern out.